Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Afternoon FM. Today we got Caps Crew in the building. We got Austin Huffnagel, Peanut, and Lewis. Uh, so, what's up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get All this right. rocking. Yeah, so, sure. uh, let's see how this. Is. How do we start this? How do we start this? Out of nowhere. I don't know. Uh, uh, tell me about your. Tell me about your like early life, bro. Like, where are you from? Tell me. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot to uncover about this. It's a lot. About it's a yeah. lot. Um, we got some time. I was born in Puerto Rico. I grew up there until I was like 12. Uh, my dad is a uh, an American, and he grew up in this area in like Cliffside Park area. He was like a, a wrestler, you know. I ended up like doing some of this as like martial arts. Like I ended up getting into like judo which is big in Puerto Rico. And then I got from Judo to Jiu Jitsu, and then from Judo, uh, Jiu Jitsu, I came to the States. You were doing Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, it? at the time. Yeah. I, I only did Jiu Jitsu for two years, but I did Judo since I was like a little kid, since, since I was four to like 12. And then when I came to the States, there was no, there was Judo, but the community was not as big. And same for uh, Austin. Same for uh, same for um, Jiu Jitsu. It was not as big, and out here was big was wrestling. Yeah. You know, it's like it has it. It has its own sport in high school. Hmm. You know, so it's like kind of like mind blowing. Yeah. At the same time, it's like shit is evolving yeah. all the time, and. Like, there's other schools, they have, like, skateboarding as a sport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. As yeah, like, for, like a for, classroom. That's, like, crazy. For, like, it, gym class, I think in, like, Japan, they do that shit where, like, you'll have gym. It, like, if you have gym, you'll, like, do skateboarding for gym. Yeah. That would be sick. Like, I would probably, like, if I grew... How to say it? If I had an environment like that in school, I'd probably enjoy it more. Yeah. But it's just, like... How'd you so fall into skating? Good question. Uh, my dad was, he grew up as a surfer and, you know, he, he grew up, he, um, his brother was Keith. He, Huffman, um, no, not that. Whatever. Um, he, um, he used to, uh, bring me along, surf and whatever, and he'd teach me the basic stuff. Mm. And ever since that, I'd just been surfing with him. And, you know, since surfing season, goes out I uh, like during the summer mm -hmm. out there so like there's not much like there's no surfing like surfing there's season. no waves in the summer in Puerto nah. Rico. wow like unless it's like a tropical storm coming or something like that mm -hmm. but besides that it's kind of dead so the only way you like to not lose your like skill is you would just like skate because mm -hmm. it's kind of slimmer, like skating, surfing, snowboarding. It has like the same basic mo 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 movements. Yeah, the movements. same, like the same, yeah. So. Mm. Is it just me and you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh. I don't smoke, yeah. Yeah, um, the reason why my parents moved out of Puerto Rico is just, um, Bad. They wanted me to have a better life. The economy over there was sucked. The school was, education was just, you know, not the same as over here, you know? Yeah. And it was not as safe. Like, I remember my pops used to tell, like, tell me, like, here, like, bring this knife just in case if anything, like, happened and shit, you know? And, like, my brother used to go to the school, and there was a couple incidents, like, where my brother freaking had his head cracked open jesus fucking Christ. you know like you know kids being kids yeah. throwing rocks up in the air iguanas or shit like that during lunch break somehow the rock lands over his head and fucking cracks his sh head jesus. and it's just like kids out there is it is it's not people are trying it, to fucking people are like living their own lives you know and it is not the same over here, you know. Mm. 
people like there's little kids like 12 year olds taking other kids lives you know yeah, yeah. over s stupid petty shit you know it's like city of god shit like really you're gonna take someone's life because of that yeah. like you, you shouldn't have the rights to take someone's life you know no matter the cost it's not your right yeah so what brought uh so what brought you over here your dad got you out of Puerto Rico because it was just getting ridiculous. Was it? Like what? It was just you know, a little too much. More dangerous. opportunities out here, more everything. Yeah. It was just better for him to live out here. And plus, my my mom wanted. She's she she was born in Puerto Rico, so she my mom my dad met my mom in a surf trip going to Puerto Rico, and that's mm. how he met my my mom. Mm. And ever since then, you know, yeah. they just fell in love and made him. She'd been always dying to live out here, you know. She was an island girl, not yeah. to experience any of this, like, you know, seeing was, snow, leaves dropping, shit like that. Like, yeah. shit that, the, like, you wouldn't you can't, experience it's shelter. It's weird because it's the opposite feeling when you're over here. Like, I'm like, yo, I would love to go surfing in, like, fucking Puerto Rico, bro. Yeah. I think that's like... That sounds like it'd be like, you know, that's like a dream. Sick. But everybody's got that grass is greener thing. It's like, yeah, yo, yeah, like I want to go see the seasons change in New York, bro. <laughs> yeah, in my so, opinion, just fuck the cold, you know? What'd you say? Fuck the cold. It's, it sucks. Yeah? Yeah. We're like, I, I would love so, to like, be in Puerto Rico. Especially skating in this type oh, it's of weather, so bad, it sucks. Bro. I'm not, I'm not like, uh, <sighs> It's supposed to snow next week. So it's That's like fucking whatever, man. I'm trying to make the most out of it this week. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm it. like, I'm kind of half and half on it. I'm like, I, it's it's fall for me, man. And then like when spring is in like that, mm -hmm. uh, that good thing. But even the summers here suck too. It's just like fucking. It's humid. Unless you're in like a small ass room, it doesn't go to the office. Just blasting that AC on it. But yeah. What uh? So where'd you guys settle after? So you left. They they leave the island. Where where are they settling? We were living at Clayside Park right. with like old uh, family members with like my grandpa, and grandma. Mm -hmm. It was just you know we had a bunch of family members in in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. So like outside of that, we didn't have many family members besides in Jersey. Mm -hmm. So it's like. That's why they wanted to move. Like, they just wanted us to grow up with our grandma and our gra grandma mm. at the time being when we were living in Clayside Park. Mm. Um, Speaking I, of your family, man, I've, I heard your your uncle is uh, is Keith Huffman. Yeah. Yeah. How uh, how did how is that like relationship? Like, is it like I don't know? Does he like? How, well, it's like. Going in and being a like your dad is a surfer, and well, he grew up skate like he skated too, but not to the like like skate every single day type shit. Like he he knew how to ro ride a board and shit, but um, you know he 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 just stick to the surfing. And then my cousin Keith Alpingle, he he was the serious in skating, you know. And he grew up in New York City and just skating around, you know? Mm. In the 80s, 90s, when New York was like at its craziest, God, like craziest yeah. you know? When That's graffiti was like. Alive, bro. Yeah. Like the trains and shit. Yeah. That type of graffiti. Beautiful, bro. Like inside the trains, there would be like a whole bunch of red. You'll never on the see wall. that again. Yeah. Now, now it's all commission pieces. It's weird because when uh when the artists move into a uh, when the artists are in a city, it's like there's the ghetto, and then the artists move in, and the artists like make it beautiful, and then it makes it like kind of trendy and poppy. Yeah. And then it's like you know all the shit that everybody, all the graffiti pieces that are being put on the side. Uh, all the graffiti pieces that are being put on like the side end up just becoming commissioned murals for like coffee shops. Yeah, and shit. I've seen that shit. There, it, if you go down <laughs> to like Brooklyn, yeah. there's so many fucking murals over there. It's like everybody's Instagram. Every like lot, 
on the gates is like either a mural or on the side of the walls, just murals. The whole place is just a mural fest. Yeah. But if you go in Manhattan, of course, there's people going over the murals. Oh, yeah. But they, awesome. the people, like, they understand, like, the people who are doing the murals, they don't, like, get offended. Like, it's part of the, the culture. But, yeah, it's, you're in the it's city. Like, people, no matter what, people are going to go over your shit, you yeah. know? You know? Yeah, it's the yeah, like even though your shit is better, or it's like, or it's whatever, like it it's would about, still go over your it's shit. It's about to ha- happen, you know. Like it could be like a, a you know, a like school it, kid who's just fucking around in in the streets and just ends up touching your face. Going over, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah going but over. They don't, with they a don't marker or some shit, you know. Yeah, I love watching the beef around the around Patterson. I really do. Yeah, it's like, like uh, what was uh the illusion beef? and uh, spook. Yeah. yeah, illusion and I spook. Just, spook I, I just, I just, I had just, I had just met illusion. He said, oh, look, you this illusion. is this is what about graffiti artists do that are stupid. They go over each other and then they like fucking make that shit just fucking easy. It's just like fighting. You fight somebody yeah, and, and you and you like you like basically turn into friends after you're done fighting. Mm. Do you think that's gonna resolve the spook and illusion beef? No, 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 no. They stop. They, they stop ragging each other because like going they talk to it. They agree to like stop really? ragging each other. Yeah, like stop going that's how a fight it goes. Like you fight him and then boom, your friends back to like normal. Mm. Or like stop. Like it was just like. I just, feel like it, it depends like, on the rider. Going over your shit because there's a lot of riders. Like you know, everyone acts different. Everybody, it's a kind of it's a fight. It's a fight to get like your name. Like one to establish the name, and two to like, this is like your spots, and like you know. Then there's the whole artist identity, bro. It's like a whole process, man. But it's uh, and there are like battle writers, and then there's like the muralists, and then there's mm. like yo, I'm a graphic designer. Or the people who just want to get up, yeah, and just say yeah. fuck it, and like, just like, like I don't know if you guys are too young. You ever see PK and Kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they'll get up in like the most weirdest spots ever now. and it's just it's not even they it's like they do it all they climb a fucking crazy ass billboard and it's like not even like a building and like you know i'm gonna hop this building and hop like, a building yeah it'll be like a big ass billboard or like a like a big ass water tower yeah and you'll just be like what the fuck like how did they get up here yeah type of shit and but like a lot of graffiti artists they just like like, like PK and Kid, they went all out. Like, yeah. They're, but they're old now, so they're not like out here like, anymore. Like, I actually, I, I attribute Narc with being a lot of big, a lot of big precursor in my life, man. Narc, uh, Narc, Narc, I know Narc, Narc had a piece on like Route 46 when I was like a little kid, and I would, uh, I'd pass by. He said Narc and drunk one. I knew what drunk one meant, so I thought it was cool. But, like, uh, but I saw Narc, and then I would see Narc in different spaces. And I'd see Narc, and I'd be, like I was a huge fan of Narc, and it got me into like learning about graffiti and shit and fucking. Yeah. Uh, and like I was into hip hop at the time. Or I was still like, hip hop. You know what I mean? But like it got me into hip hop, got me into like you know learning about art and just keeping like a black book and like doing it. And it's strange because uh, from graffiti I found hip hop. And like I kind of left graffiti for a while, and now like I had done a, a stint like making music, and then I learned like photography, and I learned mm-hmm. film, and now like I'm back. Now I'm like starting to get back into like doing graffiti. And that's cool. It's fucking. Uh, it's just a fun. It's a such a. Cool but like, there's no point in doing that bullshit, like going over each other and then fucking like going over each other. That's like. Yeah. There's no point like, in doing that. Like you're just. I've w- seen spots where it's like. There's two people on it, mm-hmm. and then there's the other person having beef, you know. And yeah, yeah. And then the whole wall is just clear. It's like you could have just stepped maybe two feet next to him and still did your own nah, thing. No, I just want like, to attack. No, want to poke yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So like, it's fun. Yeah, they just want to go over each other. Like, oh yeah, this. Like, I just want to go over him. Like, whatever. Yeah. Like he'll be sick or like. Who'd be mad? Like, but just went y- over. Y- him. You gotta be careful because, like, it just depends on the area you're in. Like, yeah. especially but in California, they really take that shit seriously. Is not strong. You're literally would, get, like, not. there's, there's, you know, you gotta be careful. The Vatos, MS13, MS-13 like, 
I had a couple, like, my homie met this Vato dude at this, like, uh, not like, if, if I got this just like, like a whole, like, Mexican food truck. Yeah, burrito stick. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. And, <laughs> and, you know, we're just, like, it's dumb cheap, like, we're down bad, whatever, and the things are, like, two dollars, like, dumb cheap, like, yeah. for each taco, or whatever. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I already, like, five, six, whatever, and then the dude, the fool was, like, right behind us, and then he's, like, comes up to my homie, and he's like, yo, you paint? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, sick, what do you write? Whatever, and then they're just chit-chatting, mm -hmm. and... He ends up like, yo, you got any, like, my homie's asking, like, you got any paint? Because he just, like, came to to California with, like, no paint. And out there, like, if you, like, new, you, it's, like, all new to you. It's, like, you got to know security. You got to know yeah. the place where you're getting the paint and yeah. how it works. And, yeah. you know, you need someone tagged along or something showing you around. So... Mm -hmm. sure he fun. he's hooking up up with free paint, so he's like, "Yo, just come to my truck. I got someone in the back of my truck." Yeah, I'm I'm waiting at the rental, motherfucker, my homeboy. He he goes, and it's been probably like already half an hour. I'm like, "Where the fuck has this dude been?" I'm calling him, straight, hang up. I'm like, "Wow, like, I think he's dead, yeah. straight up, like." What am I gonna do? Like, all by myself in California. Motherfucker hasn't been around for the hour. I'm like, bro, Start what the fuck he's been doing? Like, you were just gonna get some paint, and an hour goes by, you know? And then he comes back, and I was like, all tight at him, you know? I was like, what the fuck? You could at least, like, let me know or some shit, you know? Mm. And plus, it's like a sketchy fucking corner. It's like mad crackheads and shit. It's mm. like, I'm like looking around. This is Los Angeles. Did, did he yeah, come back? Yeah, did he come? Uh, this is in Los Angeles. This is Los my Angeles. Opinion, my opinion, Los Angeles is n gnarlier. Gnarly. Like, in LA, yeah. in like the homeless what, uh, streets, like yeah. the whole area, they'll just... Bust, bust your windows like yeah. while you're inside the vehicle type shit. It's like did, what about like, you did, mean, he, did he come? Fucking skid row. This guy's skating in skid row, bro. Skid row's yeah. nuts, bro. When I used, to, I lived in LA and I lived on uh, when I, I had a weird ass LA experience, man. I lived in uh, when I got there, I was living in a, at a loft like this, and it was a kung fu dojo, and uh, we had this fucking this Dominican guy named Knowledge. And he was like a 300 pound, like kung fu, like, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd come by, he'd be like fighting people and shit, like talking to me. So, uh, I don't know, I went through a thing, I broke up with my ex, I moved to Los Angeles, bro, and I went from, uh, I went to Calabasas, like first, I like landed in Calabasas, because my sister was out there and I wanted to work for Rick Rubin. Then I went to South LA, bro. And it's strange, like in like two weeks, I spent two weeks in Calabasas, and then I found my place, and then mm -hmm. I, I, like, landed in South L.A., and the hood's there. Like, I grew up over here, and, like, you know, I'd, like, you know I've seen a lot of shit, mm -hmm. and fucking, uh, when I landed in L.A., I was, like, 21, and uh, I looked up and down the street on, like, 40th and Broadway, and, uh, you know, I was like, damn, well, you know, I'm out here in Cali, you know what I mean? Like, this is, like, my life now, because I'd, like, moved out with, like, yeah. a one-way ticket. A fucking, uh, there was a homeless dude, and he was pushing a shopping cart, and the shit was on fire. It was like the Sisyphus fucking thing. Really? Yeah. That was, was like, crazy. Shit. I'm like, you know what I mean? And, uh, that's how I feel. But <laughs> like, yeah, We had another scenario like that, but not as crazy as that, but... How the like, fuck was the shopping cart on fire? What the fuck? Landed. Yeah, just walk it with it. Walking with it, but this is like, you know, I mean, I'm trying to get my bearings in the area, but yeah. I, it was weird. The gangs and shit were pretty uh, strange down there. It was a close, uh, it was the first time I ever saw like some, like a real crip. Like, yeah, like, yo, this person is like crippled. 
Like, not like, you know what like, I mean? They'll do like, their dances and shit. Like, there's the people walks. in New York, but these are like people who are on like Hoover Street. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, this is like the Hoover Crips. And I saw a Crip, and uh, it was a she. It was like a big ass lesbian Crip. And right. it was at this place called Tam's Burgers. Shout out to Tam's Burgers. Uh, I was getting like a burger, and, it was a crip, and I was just watching a Crip eat a pastrami sandwich. At one point, but it's strange. It was like a, there was a gang called H O B. The graph over there mm-hmm. is a lot of it's like gang graffiti, so it's very like. Yeah, there's a lot of gang graffiti. Like I just mm. even in S F Los a- Los Angeles, yeah. just everywhere. It's like, it's like really. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I mean, even it's like here, toy shit too. Shit. It's like it's nothing like, uh, and like most of them don't even write. Mm. They just do it just to, so they could like it's stay a, off of like their territory. territory. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, but it's uh, it's definitely like a whole, the whole thing, man. The fucking you know seeing the scene now, but yeah. So you recently just got back from Cali. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Tell me, like, it's pretty know. sick. When we first arrived, it was like we arrived there. It fucking sucked. We went to this uh, skate shop. It fucking um, sucked. Nobody had no, no The skate shop was a deluxe shop, I think. And we popped there and like first first thing we just like look across the street and then it's just a homeless dude butt naked with like two cops just standing there like trying to like mm. just contain the person in that area. Yeah. Um it was just like what the fuck? You don't see like we don't see but shit like this naked, like you'll see somebody York, you know like Across the street, like walking butt ass naked, and you just be like, "What the fuck is he doing? Like, what's up with him?" Mm. Yeah, but it's like yeah. now these days, I just I, it's like normal to me because I just be seeing so much shit happening every single day. It's like crazy. Mm. Like just homies popping needles right in front of the cops. The cops don't really like they just let them do sh- their own thing inside the subways and shit. It's yeah. like. Crazy. So, what do you think? It's what is it? The thing of like actual skating nowadays. Like, what what actually gets you up to to skate every day? Yeah, like like you get up and skate every day. Like I know oh. it's like a, it's a I lifestyle. Mean, but yeah, you, to me, you, like I like skating. Like it's a lot. Like to me, like skating every day is like it's just fun. Like you know, you meet a whole bunch of new people, mm. and then like you'll have friends. And then your friends are just so cool, and then, like, yeah, like just, you just fuck with them. It just becomes a whole, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up with you? What do you, like, so this guy ends up on, like, to give, uh, to give the audience, like, some, <laughs> some thing, bro. This guy recently, recently viral, like, No Jumper podcast. I think I, I don't even know how many places I saw it, but it got, this back time. it got, like, passed yeah. around. This guy. That's probably he, he's probably stuff. not even famous. They just probably like they just posted him like do the the fucking drop in in Philly, but if they tagged him like he would have he would have got like a couple of followers. I mean, still, off that. bro, you fucking actually the one like the one pro- way probably I- half of them know like he did that shit. I found you on some weird shit, man. I, I found the one the one video that was getting passed around that ended up it ended up on my feed, bro. I had no. No connection to you, honestly. Yeah. Fucking like, it ended up on my feed was the one uh, was like down the hill. There's like a uh, this dude like goes hits this fucking uh the the bike down the hill in Patterson. Oh oh oh. Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah, like where I, they jumped, where they like the, like they had jumped. Oh oh, yeah, they oh jumped. that. Yeah 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 yeah. That yeah. 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 I, I it. It's not my first video than viral. Like I had multiple, like like know, that, that, that. I've done backflips on my board. I've done like all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, Dude, like he almost need... smacked his head. Doing yeah, the there was one where it was like I skinned off the the floor, basically. It I, was in Puerto Rico. Did, yeah, it was like probably three, four years ago, but it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, bro. How do you, so? How do you like end up training? Is it just the process of doing it like a bunch of fucking times, or is it like? So you definitely that comes along 
the way, like, just being consistent, mm. doing it over and over. You just, like, yeah. kind of get used to knowing just gotta skate every how day. to land, like land a hustle, and, basically. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. But what's like the where do, you, where do you feel like it falls? Do you feel like it's more like on the spot or on the creativity? Because skateboarding is like a for, part, bro. For me, it's the creativity. Like, yeah. Since I've like, I never got to experience that till later in my life. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like just when I was getting older, you know, life experience and shit, just tough times. That I have to like transition. How do you how do you try to fucking come up? Do you like ever try to come up with like you come up with with things? So yeah, but like like how does it how does it I come work? up with like what, edits? what's my best ability? You know yeah. yeah. Like there's certain things I know that I could do, and there's certain things I cannot do. You know, mm. but it's sick. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, like I gotta watch myself at some points. Like I know I could really hurt hurt myself, and mm. you could probably like look at me yeah. like you fucking crazy. Yeah. Like you just fucking dropped in like, a t- twenty four foot the straight fucking, yeah, yeah wall yeah. off of a bridge in it's Philly. That's like, like oh that was Philly. Yeah, it was in Philly. How did that thing go? Because I was so when well, I was looking at the video, dude, it, was, it was just a sea of. It was people. like twenty feet wall well, and like it was, yeah, because like it was like an event in Philly, like. Mm. Yeah, the Rip like, Rally. It was an independent. It was like an independent. It was the Rip Rally. They had a, like a bunch of like sponsors hosting it, and they had mm. like a bunch of money involved or whatever. And it was a three day thing, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And and you know I I was I didn't have a ride going up there. I'm all the way in Jersey, whatever. Mm. I'm just trying to find my way up down there. You know, luckily I end up like taking the train and finding my way there. I think I met up with me, Sheem, and Will. Yes, Sheem, Will, and Peanut. And then we just end up like, you know, since it was going to be Saturday and Sunday, we end up staying the night there. And... Yeah. And then Friday... I, I don't remember that whole, like... I remember we... I remember, like, the only thing I remember... Well, we like, stayed in a hotel? No, but the Friday night to crazy. Saturday... Oh, you were not with us. Oh, so Friday it was... What yeah, was, was that it, uh, skate it was, park? It was that DIY... Um, mm. With the tennis court. Rizzo? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, Rizzo Skate Park Rizzo. or something like that. Yeah, or DIY, DIY Skate Park. No, no, it was Rizzo, Rizzo, Rizzo Rink. Oh, the Rizzo, Rizzo Rink. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> um... The first event was hosted there. Mm. And then later throughout the day, it moved on to Muni. Mm. And then from Muni, Muni it went is to like a skate plaza, um, like where everybody just goes to skate and they like just they skate. They just chill or, or yeah. skate. You could probably die there doing a trick because that shit really like, those like those ledges is like really buttery as hell. Like you could just slip out of a trick and just bust your ass hard as hell. <laughs> You gotta watch those blocks. Bro, and they be skating a tall ass trash can. Like, they can't move this shit closer. They have to pun this shit far as fuck just to do this shit. I'm like, you know, you guys can pun it, like, at least closer, at least. Like, fuck. I got smoked on it, like, with my cast. That shit hurt. I was like, yo, these Philly niggas, like, suck. Dead. Like, they just pun that shit too far. Mm. I mean, some of them are like, some I'm not Philly hating skates. on them. They got pop. It's just that they pun that shit too far. So well, like if they was to skate something, they would have to put it far. No cap. Well, what makes a great spot? Are you uni? Just uh, just general in spots, because I I know it's I another like thing. It's, you guys got it's, the it's, it's all skate, unique in in what you can bring to the yeah, table. Pretty much, yeah, that too. Uh. Um, but everyone has their own style, you know. Yeah. So maybe this obstacle is not your your thing, and there's certain people. Yeah. Who you know, certain like people different. skate certain shit. Mm. There's yeah. different sti- uh, styles of skating. You know, there's yeah, like all these all these people that are on Supreme, they have different styles. So that like they like wear baggy shit or they wear certain clothes to make yeah. them like look like professional. Mm. Like yeah. Tashan, he only got pop though. He got pop. He got big ass pop. He got but tricks he only, and he, pop, he, but yeah, like he only got it on it's pop. the same way. 
Like, he just won his, uh, his Thrasher, the Skater of the Year for Thrasher. Mm -hmm. He, like, won it for this There's year. There's, like, a bunch of, like, skaters who are either technical or just, like, dull. Hop down, like, 20 stairs mm -hmm. and skate the gnarliest rails and shit, so... Mm -hmm. And then there's other people who skate like a lot dirt. of sponsors. They look for like f for gnarly shit. They don't look like who inspires you guys? Huh? Who's inspired you guys? You I guys inspire like myself because I learn everything new. Like I learn, I just think about learning new shit, and it's fun though. That's the part of skating too. You learn new shit. Did you like watch like previous tricks, or do you like yeah, this is like a yeah? Fucking. Sometimes like I when he first started, he like search up how to do certain tricks, and yeah. then. He'll like, he'll follow like the direction they give him. Yeah. And then he'll just land the trick and he'll be hyped. Yeah, yeah sometimes I'll land it in my elevator and it's like a square. Mm. And I'll just learn it in my elevator. Alright, work. That shit will be funny. But it's, uh. Just forgot my <laughs> thought. Nah. How do you approach it, bro? How do you approach like a minute? Cause like, oh, and he learned like Austin learned some shit from me. Oh, I never like, do the people for that drop in like say that's like that's a spot, right? Yeah. And do, are people fucking hitting that ramp and like doing that like all the time? Because there's know. like there's no very few people like who that actually time. like who will have the balls to even come close to the like the wall. Because so there's there's people who were like dying mm. on that shit. Like. Jeez. <laughs> it was just horrible. It was just. It would just be like that. That one event, like it that was one like, event. It was. It probably do. It that. was meant for for people to eat shit, literally. Really? <laughs> they just wanted to see people like like I eat feel like full on. If shit. you want to have like a a good contest, you want people to like die and shit. <laughs> Not yeah, that. Exactly. News doesn't. Somewhat, yeah. yeah like, doesn't it's great bad. content, you yeah. know? Do Either for, you land it, do I can't feel or my you fucking. It, it yeah. Time, bro. yeah, they, they, like, they just wanted to do this event to, like, see just people eat shit. And then if, like, you land it, you land it. If not, like, they, they paid Austin to stop, like, skiing it. Really? What does that mean? Oh yeah, that yeah. They're like, oh wait, because they feel like you're gonna get sued. Yeah, they feel like. No, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think like that. But they, they, they fucking, they, they, they just, they, they just, just, just ain't like, want nah, to bro, get hurt. I, I was already getting hurt. Like, bro, I already smashed my face on on that before. Wow. Before that, then. How do you yeah. walk off from these injuries, bro? Because I saw that and I was like, dude, what the like? No, no, how, I, what, all, how does that feel? Like how does like so? I mean, his name is his name is up there. So like he had, like I don't even know if he had to do it, but like his name is up there. So like it was like Austin Huffnigo like doing this fucking drop in, is gnarly as hell. And then yeah, they just like they just had seen him do this gnarly ass drop in, and then it was just like dope. And it goes into like exposure. Like I like yeah. you guys are like sponsored by GGK. Yeah. Uh, well we're sponsored well, Austin is sponsored by Real. Austin is sponsored by Real. Yeah. Um, Thunder is How does that go about? Like how when like when you get like when you get like, 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 like no, no, no. how does it feel? Is it like a talent scout comes to the fucking skate park or some shit? Like how do you No 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 I mean to be sponsored, sponsored it's like you have like, to be nice and you like 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 they sponsors keep you like set. Yeah. Like they keep you they like you they like keep you going it. like you know they yeah. like if they you want, if you're not getting somewhere. shit from like companies it doesn't keep you going like yeah. it's just like you have to pay for a whole bunch of fucking like Skate wheels yeah. trucks like boards you have to pay for that like every like a month or two and that's like it's a lot that's heavy on you like you know you got to save up bread like yeah. to get a skateboard yeah, yeah boards is it's not cheap anymore you know it's it's like like 60 70 dollars 80 dollars for, for a like whole complete setup you know mm. that's crazy for like mm. a deck it's like 60 70 80 but like for for a for a thingy skateboard for like a like a complete it would be like mm. like, like 200 150 mm. Plus, with like the skating like community, it's like I don't know. I feel like it has its ups and downs. But in my opinion, like I feel like skating's been like dying somewhat. Like really, it, it's 
meant what, like, less people are going and, and going into the skate community? Like, you barely see people skateboarding now. Yeah, it's not how it used to be. Like, you see like, a lot of skaters outside. New, new lear learners. Yeah. And, like, getting introduced. Like, I remember in the spring, like, there would be, like, kids trying to come up to me, be like, oh, can you teach me how to skate? And I'll, like, make them, like, an old board, some old trucks, some old wheels, and they'll keep skating until, like, the winter. Then it'll be, like, oh, it's too cold and shit, like, not time I come outside. I'm like, all right, so just practice in your house or some shit. And they would do that and fucking do that. Like, that would be cool that they just keep skating inside their house and shit. And that would be, like, cool because, like, I gave them a board. They should take that as an advantage because they don't have to pay for one. Mm. And then they're going to end up paying for one when they get nice. I mean, when they get nice, they're not going to, like, pay for one unless they get a sponsor. But a lot of people are nice and they don't even have sponsors. Like, they just, like, don't even care about a sponsor. Mm. It's just, like, whatever to them. They just want to skate in the yeah. day, you know? They don't give a fuck about Some it. Some people just rather pay for this stuff that instead was. of, like, getting it for free. Yeah. But that's what, that's what skating is, like, all about now. Like, it's about, like, getting sponsored. A lot of, like, skaters want to get sponsored. Mm. And... A lot of skaters don't want to get sponsored, but yeah. I feel like it has its both aspects. Like people end like. up finding out the true about like skating. You know, like how being hard a, it is. a skateboarder, professional skater. It's not like the greatest money, you know. Yeah. Especially if you're not like on the top like leaderboard, you know. And there's not much money in the skate community as mm. much. Yeah. So it's like, you know. Like energy drink companies, like those, like that's one company that like, that, like a lot of people want to like, get pay, sponsored by. For your majority of your shit. Mm. Like, yeah, like they'll pay for trips shit. wherever you go and stuff. Uh, what's it called? Yeah. Mm. That's, uh,. There's one that, like, I went snowboarding for, like, not too, like, not too long ago. It was, like, f like, for, like, six weeks straight. Then, yeah, my friend, like, my friend LJ, uh, like, they pay for his trips to go to, like, any, like, because he's on Red Bull. So, like, hmm. he started young, though. Like, he started when he was, like, six, I think. And then, like, yeah, he he has got a nice ass. Nah, the dude is fucking nice as hell. What's, what's it like in the competitions? Like, is it like this whole, do you end um, up seeing the same, like... It, it just all comes down to, like... Sometimes you'll get nervous, you have, like, in competitions. If you go to, like, all these competitions and just, you know, getting used to not being nervous with around all these crowd and stuff. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that you're going to place and shit. Just, like, knowing you're going to land this mm -hmm. run safe, you know. No, And on top of that, you're going to, like, land all these tricks to your best potential mm -hmm. and beat all your opponents. Yeah. And it's kind of, like, tough. Especially, like, when, you know, incidents happen. Like, yeah. like in SLS Injury. and all these, all these, like, skate, um skate competitions like it goes by score like the tricks are like a certain score and then like you got to get a higher score than like your component like your component mm -hmm. there's definitely a, a technical um like what was the word like there's definitely like technique in in but i just do skating for fun like it's whatever mm -hmm. I ski, I get better. Just like, like repeat the same thing every day. Wake up, do like the same thing every day. It's like meditation for you. Yeah. yeah. Me, I just like skateboarding because I learn new shit every day. Mm. And then if I don't land it, I'll keep trying it no matter what. I feel like that that gives a um, what's the word? What, like, a reason to live? 
Oh, it yeah. teaches you a lef lesson. Like most people won't learn that lesson till they start skateboarding. You know, not everyone is built to like eat shit, get up, and try again. It yeah. teaches you kind of like a lesson. It's like you know, like in life, just like keep going, keep moving, and just like rinse and repeat and. Don't let the last bail be like your life, you know? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, kind of gonna leave it on that. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, good. uh, Caps Crew, Austin Huff, Nagel, Peanut, and Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, have a great night. Well, Fred up.